O M G. I'm at Maker Fair at the See Me CNC booth, and I found John. How you doing, man? Pretty good. How about you? I'm a lot better now that I've seen you. Uh, yeah, it's the first time in person. I know. I've always wanted to meet you. I've, we've interacted online, but this is the first time in Meet Space we've actually met. Yep. Yeah. Well, we're Seattle relatives represent, almost. Represent. All right. So. The first question I need to ask, See Me CNC is a wonderful company and you guys do things a very specific way. You choose to do things how you do them. It seems like, it feels like See Me CNC is a, just a bunch of guys in a garage having a good time making quality stuff. Am I far off? No, that's a very accurate statement actually. <laughs> um, yeah, we stuck with the Delta printers because there's something different. Um, they've got a lot of mechanical advantages and you, again, it's something different. You got to be a standout nowadays with all the different 3D printers there are. Uh, the three arms, kind of intriguing. It's really cool to watch. That's true. My kids say it looks like a spider running if it's if it's moving all around. Oh yeah, very entertaining. The uh, the big machine behind us, you've called Part Daddy. What what was your inspiration behind that? Uh, well, that's Part Daddy right there, and I think it was a bet of how big can we build one. Well, I can you go bigger? Yeah, we got to find somebody that'll make the extrusions longer for us. Uh, okay. Well, you machine all of the things, uh, most of the things for your printers in your own shop. Is that right? Yeah, everything that is CNC machined, injection molded, and laser cut is all done in house. That's amazing. What's been more popular, the the kits or the fully assembled units? Uh, kits, hands down. We're probably five to one more kits than anything assembled now. Five to one. That's that's amazing. Uh, let's see. I I'm really curious because you. I know you love printing. You guys, like I said, are just in a garage making cool stuff. What what really inspires you to do this? What what makes you get up in the morning and and go to work? Um, it's a little different nowadays, but it's still cool. I mean, we're always looking to to make the next best thing that we can do with the tools that we have in house. So we we do all our own design, all our own engineering all our own manufacturing and so we're trying to use what we know how to do well and apply that to the next 3D printer like the Aris. Oh, the Aris, that's a great segue because I just wanted to ask you about that. I know I have one and it's just in the box still and and here's what's interesting. On video they dropped the Aris four times on the floor. They catted it five really they catted it off the table and the only part that broke was the power connector because the cable was still plugged in so when I take mine out of my box John said I have one free pass to cat it off the table I just don't know if I can do that tell me tell me about the Aris it includes a really cool way of, of self leveling that bed right yeah so that's our first machine to offer auto calibration and uh, it uses an accelerometer mounted on a circuit board that the hot end is attached to to detect when it actually touches the bed and that was an inspiration from FPV racing that I got into last year at Detroit Maker Fair, actually. And I got into it really bad, so I have a lot of them now. And just in one of the freak crashes with that, I thought, wait a minute, the accelerometer is acting funny because of this, because I ran into something. And that was the next morning, rush into the shop and said, hey, Steve, we can detect when we crash into the bed with an accelerometer. And that's how that was born. That was it? That was literally it. And so by accelerometer, do you mean the same thing that exists in my phone that judges my steps or knows which orientation it's in? Same technology? Yeah, it's actually the same part number that's used in a pretty popular cell phone. I don't know off the top of my head because uh, Ultimate Machine did a lot of the testing and they finalized that part number for us. But it's the same accelerometer that's in most cell phones. That's amazing. Okay, I know you're busy, so final question. On this giant delta behind me, what is your favorite thing you've printed? What's Steve printed? Um, I haven't printed anything on it actually. Steve's done all the printing. The angel from the angel from Clay Guy in Poland. Oh, the angel. We'll have to get video of that. How long did that take to print? The 60-hour print it weighs 150 pounds. Wow. How big was the extrusion width on that? The extrusion's coming out as four millimeter diameter and a two and a half millimeter thick layers. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to go get some video of that angel. John, I think you owe me a high five. <laughs>